Golden Eagles. And we are happy to be bringing this game to you tonight uh, from St. Michael the Archangel High School. Uh, some people kind enough to uh, recommend us to keep going for a little bit more. So we're going to bring you the soccer game, and then we've got some football games to bring you later on in the season. But tonight it's all about Guardian soccer. And like I said, we are so happy to be bringing it to you. Coach Rob Putoff uh, bringing in his team tonight with a 2-1 and one overall record. Back at the beginning of September on the 2nd, they defeated Truman 6-1. Uh, to one then played Guadalupe Centers in Kansas City, Missouri, and lost that match nil to one, and then defeated Van Horn just five days ago, two to one. They were slated to play Pembroke Hill High School, but Pembroke, as you probably know on the football side of things, has had a little break of the, uh, a breakout of the coronavirus, and uh, so I'm assuming the soccer game was postponed as well as the uh, football game because we have no result there. But tonight it's Bishop LeBlond out of St. Joseph. And Bishop LeBlond is led by Perrin Youngbluth. And the boys, uh, the Golden Eagles coming into this match 3-0. and Both teams have played three games. Their first game was August 31st against Benton in St. Joe. They won that game 4-3. to Then defeated Lafayette in St. Joseph, Missouri 3-1. to And then defeated Chillicothe uh, high school five to nothing, five nil. If you're using the soccer proper soccer terms, right, Jordan? Five nil, and then again tonight against St. Michael the Archangel, three and zero. Bishop LeBlond and St. Michael the Archangel coming into the match two and one. Just looking at some statistics for you uh, coming into this match, Bishop LeBlond averaging four goals a game. All of those goals have come in the first half, and St. Michael the Archangel. Uh, averaging 2.7 goals per game, and all of their goals have come in the second half or in overtime. So looking at the rosters of the two teams as we get ready to go, uh, as we mentioned to you, if you watched us with football, uh, we're not from St. Michael the Archangel High School so or Bishop LeBlond. Uh, so please forgive us if we mispronounce some names here and there. We don't mean to. Uh, and hopefully if we mispronounce them, somebody who's listening uh, will run up here to the booth at uh, Lee Summit North High School, the football slash soccer field tonight, and let us know how to pronounce the names properly. Uh, Jordan Wood is going to be on the play-by-play -play for you tonight. I'll be doing color commentary, and we'll be bringing all of the action to you here in about seven and a half minutes, as that's what we're slated for kickoff. Of course, it was supposed to be... Uh, 7 o'clock start time, and we're going to get pretty close to that. Originally, um, it looked like both teams were going to play back on that field that you see just behind the stands on the other side of this uh, complex we're sitting at now, and we were able to get permission to move the teams over to the big main field. So great opportunity for both teams to play on this beautiful new turf brought in uh, at the Lee Summit School District for all three of our Lee Summit High Schools, Lee Summit, Lee Summit North, and Lee Summit West. So this promises to be a pretty good game as basically uh, coming into it, it's four to three as both teams averaging pretty much the same as far as goals and goals allowed. Uh, it looks to be pretty evenly matched. And again, we are very, very excited to bring it to you. So we're going to go silent just for a few minutes here, and we will be back a couple of minutes before the game starts. And again, thank you so much for tuning in and watching with us today. Uh, we are uh, so excited to bring it to you and uh, hope you enjoy watching the game with us as St. Michael, the Archangel Guardians, take on Bishop LeBlond from St. Joseph, the Golden Eagles. Again, I'm Jeremy Wood, Jordan Wood joining me in the booth. We're with Cinematic Visions. You can find us at cinematicvisions.com. Uh, for all of your video and media production needs, as well as website and graphic design, we can help you with just about anything in that nature or of that nature. So if you want to look us up there, cinematicvisions.com. Jordan and I are going to go silent for just a minute. We'll leave you with the crowd sounds and the teams warming up. We'll be back in just a moment.
Once again, we want to thank you for tuning in tonight as the match will be between St. Michael the Archangel Catholic High School, the Guardians out of Lee Summit, Missouri, and Bishop LeBlanc, the Golden Eagles out of St. Joseph, Missouri. Bishop LeBlanc coming into the game 3-0, and St. Michael the Archangel coming into the game with a record of 2-1. and one. Uh, Bishop LeBlanc averaging four goals a game, St. Michael the Archangel averaging 2.7 goals per game. As I mentioned at the outset, Bishop LeBlanc scoring all of their goals in the first half, so it'll be uh, critical for St. Michael the Archangel to weather the storm early as that appears to be when Bishop LeBlanc does their best work. And then uh, on the flip side of that, St. Michael the Archangel have scored all of their goals in the uh, in the second half or overtime. So we're getting ready to get started here. Again, I'm Jeremy Wood. I'm joined in the booth by Jordan Wood, my son. We are with Cinematic Visions, and we are so excited to be bringing this game to you this evening. And again, Jordan's going to be doing play-by-play. -play. I'll chime in with a little color commentary here and there. But we cannot wait to bring you this game, a beautiful night at Lee Summit North High School in Lee Summit, Missouri. Enjoy the action, and uh, we'll do our best to bring you all of it in an entertaining fashion. So, Jordan, if you would, take it away. And uh, like I said, I'll jump in when I can here and there. I'll be running the camera and the scoreboard and the live stream. Jordan's going to uh, grab your hand and take you on this game tonight as both teams look to improve their records. Again, Bishop LeBlanc looking to stay undefeated to go 4-0, uh, SMA looking to go 3-1. and one. Jordan, take it away. Good to be here. Appreciate the introduction. As you mentioned a little earlier, we uh, still learning the names up here in the booth. So forgive me here as I'm going through play-by-play -play if I call out a couple numbers rather than a couple names, but I'll, I'll do my best to familiarize myself with the players as the night goes on. You mentioned four to three, the average is the goals. That's a pretty high scoring outlook really for both teams coming into this one. So it'll be interesting here, maybe a little shootout coming into this one. So both teams gonna need a good defensive effort if they wanna come out on top tonight. Yeah, soccer is, uh, as everybody knows, not exactly the highest scoring game in the world. So with one team averaging four and the other one basically averaging three, uh, maybe we'll see a good little shootout tonight uh, as far as soccer goes. So uh, excited again to bring it to you. I think I've said excited to bring it to you like 14 times. My record in one game was like 17. So we'll see if I can break that tonight. We'll get there. It'll be hard doing color, but I, I'll do my best to lead you into exciting a few more times. Yeah, if you could just set it up. In the business, Jordan, mm -hmm. they call it a segue. I'll put a cross segue. into the box for you, and you can – yeah. Head in excited. SMA sort of walked off the field there for a second. St. Michael the Archangel in the green and navy blue uniforms with white trim. Bishop LeBlanc in the all white with looks like navy blue trim. Maybe purple or black. Their school colors are purple and yellow. St. Michael's the blue, green, and gray and white. And again, St. Michael the Archangel, the Guardians, Bishop LeBlanc, the, the Golden Eagles. And each half, 40 minutes long, unlike uh, professional soccer. I was talking to Jordan a minute ago, uh, as I'm not as familiar with high school soccer as I am with, you know, Major League Soccer or uh, that form of soccer that we watch when we watch the, the World Cup. Uh, they don't have extra time, and the score that you see on the clock and the score that we mentioned to you throughout the game is the actual time remaining in the game or the half. So you won't have the clock run out, and then it just mysteriously end whenever the referee decides. We actually do play by the clock here in the good old U.S. of A. in the high school uh, leagues. It would be 40 minutes each half, and like you mentioned, no stoppage time, no injury time or anything like that. So... Uh, you'll see a lot of times players tend to stay on their feet a little more at this level because they don't really get anything if they waller around on the ground after a foul. <laughs> I got to uh, say, that may be – I like soccer. It's a good game. I love playing it. I love to play – all right, I played it all the way through eighth grade when I was a youngster, moons ago. But uh, I 
I really enjoyed playing it, but watching it, especially at the professional level when those guys, uh, somebody sneezes on them and they fall down and act like their legs are broken, that's good stuff. Yeah, we, we, I don't think the flop you, in the NBA. The right? uh, acting doesn't quite develop at this level. Early ball down the wing, quickly stopped, but Will Ware is able to pick it up at his feet. Oberkrom now in the middle, and SMA very quickly looking to set up a little attack. They'll get it back around to the defense and slow things down. Early challenge comes in there from Cedar, but a whistle and a foul called by the ref in favor of Bishop LeBlanc. Coming to take it will be Luke Metcalf. Everybody will back up in anticipation here. SMA stacking their back line. Currently playing a five at the back. Ball at the feet now of the SM or of the Bishop LeBlanc forward. That's Noah Stevenson. Another whistle and a foul and a quick free kick taken. Here's Warris on the right-hand wing. Early ball down very quickly down the right-hand side. That's Ricaro. No whistle blown, but it does go out for a Bishop LeBlanc throw in. Well, we talked about them not falling and getting hurt maybe as much at the high school level, but here early on we have a player down for uh, Bishop LeBlanc. That'd be number seven, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Ellsworth. Ellsworth. Hope he's okay. Looks like he is. A shook a up on the play. Little knee to knee, it looked like there, a knee to thigh whenever Ricaro went there to try to get that ball down the line. Throw in here for Bishop LeBlanc. Goes right to the feet of SMA. Ricaro controlling it again in the midfield. All the way back to the defense, SMA playing nice slow soccer here to try to build up an attack. All the way back again to the right back. And slowly pacing the ball forward. Looking for a hole or a gap to break here in Bishop LeBlanc's defense. That pass just a little behind the intended target. Big long throw in there, a little too long for anyone for Bishop LeBlanc, but a mistake here as the ball was tried to be cleared. And Bishop LeBlanc with an early attack and the shot put a little right of the post. Should tell you here in this booth, at least Summit North, and I'm gonna move the camera a little bit so you can see it here. The far corners nearest to us, as you'll see here, you can't see them because the windows don't allow it. So. Uh, that far corner on both sides won't be able to see if somebody has a corner kick or if action drops down in that corner. Uh, it's just the way the booth is set up. Probably when this building was put together, there was no thought of live streaming on YouTube. As I know, this building is uh, uh, over 20 years old at this point. So forgive us for that, but that's the way it is. Fancy footwork there. A ball put into the box. An early chance here for SMA. Falls away back, and another shot put wayward of the crossbar, that time by Cardin Vaux. So early chances here from both teams, but not a whole lot of clinical finishing to this point. Interesting here from Bishop LeBlanc opting to have a center back take the goal kick rather than the goalie. Something Lee Summit West would do a few years ago. All the way back to SMA's defense, and they're already back on the attack here. We'll see him get around to the back side, and again, that patient buildup from SMA. As we mentioned previously, Bishop LeBlanc scores all of their goals in the first half, at least to this point in the year, and they're averaging four of them in a half, so we'll look to see their offense get going here. Throwing again down the right-hand side, skips past the defender. But tripped up is the attacker there. Looked like Noah Weller in there on the tackle. And it will be another throw in here for the Golden Eagles. So even though we've had one shot on goal from both teams, Jordan, right now SMA controlling the ball a little bit more, especially on the offensive side. A little more patience. And a lot of times you'll see teams do that, just try to slowly build up their attack. That's why soccer is a little more slow scoring because they'll try to 
pass it around in triangles and, and force an opening from a certain defender on a team. And whenever you have a team like the Golden Eagles that's as potent as they are early in the first half here as they're trying to work the ball forward, you'll see them start to slowly uh, try to counter that by playing slower and not allowing them to get as much possession of the ball. And possession in soccer, very important because that decides who's going to be getting those chances. Once again, the Golden Eagles here trying to breach through SMA's defense, but five at the back stopping it. It's about as much as you'll ever see in soccer. Not very popular over in Europe, a little more here in the U.S. Ricaro Jr. trying to get around the defender, unable to do so. And another throw in here for SMA. Good job by Aiden Cedar there to try to force a mistake from Ricaro, and he got one. Another ball into the box here. Looked like he was looking for someone in the middle. Goalkeeper comes and picks it up nice and clean. Noah Stevenson in there trying to get one into the middle. SMA back in control in the midfield here. It's Luke Gaffney. Defender swarming in around him. Another ball down the wing. Here is Weris trying to whip one into the box over the head of Ricaro. Now back into the midfield, another chance possibly there. A great slide tackle in the box, showing great composure. That was Luke Metcalf in there to stop the attack from SMA. Ricaro, another little, another little ball in there, gets cut out by the defenders. Cedar trying to dance around the defender, staying right with him is Garlic. Opts to just get one down the wing, but he'll be flagged offside. Was Stevenson there a little too early? Jordan, for people who are new to soccer, explain what the offside penalty is. So the offside penalty essentially creates or stops attackers from opposing teams of being able to just sneak in and run all the way and stand by the goalie and get back as far as they want. So you essentially cannot pass by the furthest back point of a defender until the ball leaves the foot of, wh of whoever is passing or if it comes to a certain point where the ball is a lone man, one guy going off against the goalkeeper, attackers must remain behind the ball or behind defenders, whichever one is furthest forward, from uh, just to prevent them from getting in there too far and essentially cheating, uh, getting in and getting easy shots. So you either have to stay even or uh, let the defender get behind you or the ball. Yep. Essentially. Just about. That's a little easier to explain whenever it shows up, but uh, I've done my best, and again, if it comes up again, I can give a little refresher if needed. Haggerty here just playing it short to his defenders, trying to force the Golden Eagles to press up a little bit so that they can push back themselves. Ellsworth in there to stop it momentarily in the middle. Ball goes down the wing for Weris. He's got to chase it in. He's got two guys to look for in the middle. Tries to play an early ball. A slide tackle comes in. And it clips the legs of Weris before anything is coming out of the pass. So referee signal for a free kick, and this is in a dangerous area. What do you see SMA trying to set up here? as they uh, position themselves, everybody moving up to the top half of the field there. Well, likely here with, uh, with Wheeler, it'll, it'll, he'll either try to curl one in here, which is exactly what he tries to do. Good hands from the keeper. Looked like Johnston in there playing goalie at the moment. A lot of times what you'll see there is they'll either get it into the big crowd and hope that someone gets ahead on it, or if you've got a sharpshooter taking that free kick, then they'll just go for goal, which is what happened there just unable to get it past the keeper. Bishop will bond with that four goal average in all in the first half. Not, not possessing the ball much here in the first half on their end. Been cut down here. SMA doing a good job just playing keep away and they're still doing a, a nice enough job of staying patient with it and getting attacks off. Just nothing coming of it just yet. And their defense has been excellent to this point, really stopping anything from getting in behind or any real danger. 
And this uh, very hot first half offense of the Golden Eagles has been neutralized very effectively so far. Once again, all the way back to the Golden Eagles defense. Good job to escape pressure there and get rid of it. That was Metcalf once again, having a good start to this one. It'll be another throw in for the Eagles. And a long one, a little bit overthrown, kept in by SMA, and they'll try to get another attack off here. But again, that same style, they're keeping it nice and slow. Goes back to Ricaro for a moment, another whistle blown. Ellis that time drawing the contact. They'll play it short and just build up from their back. Another one coming inside. That one very quickly into the box, but cut out by the Golden Eagles defense. But still a dangerous area here, a throw in to come. And here's the part uh, ready to take it. On the screen here, you can't see the throw in just because of the way this booth is built for us. So take my word for it is what yeah, he's saying. Now, now we're going to radio. Obercrom here waiting for a little crowd to gather in the box. He'll get it in there. A decent throw in. Ricaro flicks it on, and the shot goes up over the bar. Early on, what I see, the difference in the two teams, at least offensive attacks, is uh, SMA just kind of has some organization almost. Uh, you know, if you're watching basketball, you, you watch teams run plays. Uh, it looks very much like SMA has plays set up uh, for layman terms there. Um, Bishop LeBlanc so far has just been more kind of taking what they can get. But uh, SMA certainly, uh, it looks like to me a little bit more organized on offense. Certainly keeping their formation a little bit better and playing uh, in basketball, we saw the Bulls come out with the triangle offense. That's essentially what you do in soccer is you'll have three players that one of them has it and two of them can get it. And that's sort of what you'll do to get around defenses. And SMA doing a great job of that right now. As the ball is played into Ricaro in the middle, he'll wait for another opening. Gets it down to the far wing. That one comes in a little late. It's going to be Warris trying to get there. Or a little early, rather. Warris unable to chase it down. The touch goes off of Garcia. Another throw in here for the Golden Eagles. But once again, SMA able to get back in control. Looking like the much more poised team, just able to keep possession to this point. Ricaro, a nice ball into the box. Here's another chance for SMA, and just wide of the post. Inches, inches. Oberkrom there putting it wide. The keeper didn't even move. He didn't have a chance at it if it was on target. But it's put just wide of the goal, not a shot on target really to this point from either team. But SMA inching just a little bit closer. Another goal kick to come, though, for the Golden Eagles. SMA once again all over it. It just looks it. like SMA has more people on the field. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was about to say, they're playing five at the back, but it, or at least whenever there's really an attack, they'll, they'll drop the center defensive mid, which at the moment is Gaffney. He'll come back and almost act as a, as a second center back, but here you'll see him again push all the way up and help out on the attack as Ricaro once again gets it to his feet. Little shoulder contact there and a whistle blown as once again Ellsworth goes to ground. But I think a lot of that almost looking like there's more players on the pitch right now is from Gaffney able to really be in control. That ball really not a big problem. Haggerty makes it look easy as he comes out and gets that pass in from behind. Gaffney's created a couple of chances for SMA to this point, but there he is again touching it all the way at the back. Looks like Coach Putoff maybe looked at the same stats we did, at least when Bishop LeBlond is on offense. He's just got people back there ready to uh, handle anything that Bishop LeBlond can bring to them at, the, at this moment anyway. There, I think Garlic had a little more time with it than he thought he did. There was just one man behind him. If he's able to get around there, he can at least put it out for a throw rather than a corner, maybe just skewing off his foot a little bit. So another corner to come here for the Golden Eagles, and this may be 
one of the more dangerous chances we've seen him get. I count five in the box at the moment. They'll swing one in here near post, looking, and there it is once again. The man in control, Gaffney, for SMA. It's a good ball into the box. Noah Stevenson just unable to control it as Gaffney rips it off of him and draws contact and another whistle blown. But then here comes SMA on the counterattack. They play a little quicker on the counter as Garcia is unable to hold it. Again, SMA, nice, calm, patient buildup, waiting for something to break here. But we've seen this a couple times already, a ball down the wing. And the Golden Eagles take control of it. Assistant waves the flag. It'll be another throw. More slow here from SMA. All the way back at the defense is where it starts. Another ball down the wing for Laniv. Ready to whip one in. Puts it near post. Nobody there for it. Just hits high up in the air as the defender tries to clear. Ball still in the box. Danger not gone. And they'll just get rid of it for an SMA corner. Not a whole lot of options there. There was three SMA attackers right around the ball. Yeah, try the uh, Bishop LeBlanc defender trying to clear it there and kicked it straight up in the air. <laughs> just skewing off the top of his foot it looked like. So very dangerous. Now one of the most uh, exciting plays in all of soccer, the corner kick. Gets a little hairy there in the box as a lot of players start trying to go up for it. High and into the back post, Ricaro Jr. off the top of his head. And it goes through the uprights. If you're just joining us, it's St. Michael the Archangel Guardians. Two and one in this uh, match here, their fourth of the season. Bishop LeBlanc, the Golden Eagles, 3-0. We're in the first half. About 23 minutes left to go in the first half. Nil-nil the score, as you see on your screen. Another goal kick to come here for the Golden Eagles. Put a little too far, but still a chance for the attackers to try to chase it in behind. Danger not gone. And SMA once again doing a good job just to stay nice and slow and patient. Drawing out SMA or drawing out the Golden Eagles, trying to bring them a little closer and build something out of what misfortune the Golden Eagles have had to this point in terms of slowing down the SMA's already slow attack. Ricaro, a good job to flick it in and keep it in. And another player goes to ground for the Golden Eagles. The time Laniv going in, getting a little too much foot rather than ball. Free kick taken, put in deep for an attacker to chase it in, but a good job by SMA to just make sure nobody's able to get there. Ball put down the wing for Weiris. Gets it back to his right back. The ball in behind there, cut out once again by the Golden Eagles. And SMA, instead of trying to force anything too quickly, just trying to play nice and slow. McNamara freshly subbed on here, trying to do a good job at right back of slowing down this attack. A good idea by Max Ellis to just get rid of it, make sure it gets back to the keeper. Bishop LeBlanc there just uh, looked like they stepped on the gas just a little bit more there on the offensive side. And still here really in possession of the opportunity to score, that one skewing off the defender's foot once again. Both teams having trouble clearing it whenever it gets back into their box. Now the Golden Eagles really for the first time tonight playing nice and slow, trying to build something up. But like you mentioned earlier, SMA keeping their shape well, playing in their formation and making sure that nothing comes of this potent first half offense. Once again, Vincent Haggerty that time coming out for it, making sure nothing comes of the attack. Tries to find Weiris. It's picked out rather by the left back here, and that one goes off of Weiris' leg. You see that a little more in basketball than in soccer as Grant tried to kick it in to a teammate, bounces off of Weiris and just goes out of bounds, or over the touchline rather, again, soccer terms. 
Good footwork, ball control from SMA there. Garcia again trying to get it forward to that left wing position, unable to do so. Obergrom tried to put one in there for Ricaro, unable to get there. Played down the wing here. Nice pass, finds the target, but again, SMA just all over it. Two people there before it seems like the Golden Eagles can really get one. Obercrom tries to play one in again to McNeve. Another ball into the box. Looked like it went off of the defender. And that is what the assistant referees will say. So we'll have another goal or another corner kick here to come from SMA. Bishop LeBlanc and everything so far, it just it, all their throw-ins, all their kicks down the field, everything, the passes, uh, just a little long or a little short, it seems like, every time. So just not quite dialed in yet. And a little quick. I think that, oh, Ooh. man, nearly a mistake. That looked like it kicked off of the defender. Goldie Eli looked Spencer. like he was just caught off guard, like he was waiting, to, thinking about this, the McDonald's cheeseburgers for after the game. Like, oh, there's the ball. That one looked like it was going to go over everybody's head. I think some of them must have flicked it down. And it went off the leg of Spencer, but very quickly the counterattack for the Golden Eagles came in. Good job by McNamara to cut it out. Gaffney once again controlling things for SMA. Wares tried to find Ricaro, unable to do so. Gaffney there to keep it back in the possession of St. Michael. And like you said, Bishop LeBlanc, you know, what we were talking about, how everything just seemed a little long, a little short, not quite dialed in. Like there may be rushing things just a wee bit, especially on that offensive side. And hang on here just a second. A chance for SMA once again. Ball in the box. Trying to draw a penalty there was Gaffney. No whistle blown. Not enough contact. Danger not gone. A ball into Warris. He tried to head it on to somebody else in the box. No one there. Once again at the feet of Warris. People telling him to shoot. He can't get one off. A good job by the Golden Eagles there to recover from what looked like a sure goal, but now a ball in behind for the Golden Eagles. They've been slow to this point. It's Youngbluth, the last one there, and unable to get a shot on. So back-to-back -back chances here from both teams. Neither one able to convert or really even get a shot off. Be a throw in for SMA. SMA now several very good opportunities just missed, as is often the case in soccer. Something bounces off your head or your foot or your body just at the wrong angle. That was at the right angle, though. Another good ball in behind. Still trying to chase it down as Leneve. It falls to the feet of Warris, trying to get around the defender. Once again, Warris trying to get it. It'll be a throw in for SMA. Metcalf doing all he can. Looked like he was on an island there with three SMA attackers all around him. Overcrom gets it in right back to him. They're looking for the cross here. That's where SMA has been getting a lot of their chances. He pushes it into the box, and once again, the last line of defense does well. Nice little scoop pass there, and that one's going to be off of Ricaro. Action picking up here very quickly as we've got just under 16.30 to go in this first half. John Grant ready to throw in here for the Golden Eagles. A long one there, just a little too far. Still a chance for Bishop LeBlanc to try to chase it down. They won't do so. Diego Garcia once again looking for Leneve. Another ball forward there, cut out by the last line of defense. Danger still not gone. SMA trying to find something, and the defender for Bishop LeBlanc opts to just get it over the touchline and force another throw in, maybe try to get back organized. Because at this exact point in time, it just looks like Bishop LeBlanc's unable to get organized in terms of midfield and defense. And that's why SMA is having so much success. Long throw in comes into the box, flicked on by Ricaro. Oberkrams tries to just get it to the far post. Good reaction by the keeper, Johnston, once again. 
Cutting out any chance for an SMA goal. Good recognition there by McNamara just to realize he has time and let it go over the touchline. Morris trying to get to it, unable to do so. Battle in the midfield here now. Both teams scrapping for it, trying to get to the ball. And SMA, once again, the familiar team to get the ball into control. Garcia finds Wares once again down the wing. Tries to put one into the middle, a little too far for Rocco, or Ricaro rather, and a little too short for Obercrom. Laniv looked for the overlapping run for just a minute, opts to just get it back to the defense, and SMA once again building from the back. That pass back just a little too far for McNamara, and it'll go over the touchline. Again, though, just keeping the ball on, on the uh, Golden Eagles side of the field and away from their very potent offense, at least uh, like we've been mentioning, four goals per game. But all of their goals, according to the stats we've been able to look at, come up in the first half. Still nothing really out of the Golden Eagles offense. Ware is trying to put one in there. Looked like a shot. Maybe it looked like he was trying to cross one, just hits the outside of his foot. But SMA playing kind of, you know, almost like the, their best defense is offense right now, just keeping it away from Bishop LeBlanc so that they cannot attack and thwarting what we at least uh, have seen, according to all the stats, a very potent first half offense. And SMA is the one that you would really think would be the favorite coming into this one as Ricaro Jr. now chases one in behind. He had a couple people back, and now a ball into the box. Obercrom oh. unable to get to it, and an own goal. So SMA will strike first. Whereas that time tried to put one, again, it looked like he was looking for somebody else that just wasn't there, but Luke Metcalf this time helping him out for the Golden Eagles, putting one in the net, or rather in his own net. So SMA will take a 1-0 lead here early on. So now the team that's already looked rushed and Bishop, Bishop LeBlond has to uh, play knowing that they're down, which is tough to do, especially when you're used to scoring an average of four goals in the first half. Looking for an early ball down the right wing. Nobody able to chase it. Well, they scored a goal. Just on the wrong net. On the on wrong, the wrong net. net. So. Ricaro Jr. once again, SMA smelling blood in the water, trying to get forward and a throw in in dangerous position once more. Good play by the defender there, is back really to what was going on behind him, so obviously, uh, but just getting it out of bounds. Not sure what's where his teammates are, where the offense of SMA is, instead of trying to stop it and turn it around, just get it out of there. And not a lot of time to do so, and he does well there, you're right, exactly. High awareness just to make sure Worst case scenario, SMA getting a chance to attack doesn't happen. SMA now another long throw in into the box, looking for Ricaro, unable to get to him. Back at the defense, ready for some more slow buildup. They'll push it back, drawing out the Golden Eagles, forcing them to push up the field a little more. And this is where they have been breaking the defense down. Another ball into Obercron. Shot from the outside of the box from Garcia goes safely into the goalie's hands. So Johnston once again picking up a save. We've got 11.20 to play in the first half. Again, in high school soccer, no stoppage time, no injury time, none of that. It's a set amount of time. Ricaro there winning the battle in the midfield. Looking back for him, unable to get to him. Ricaro still holding the ball in the midfield, doing a great job for SMA, getting around two defenders. Goes down in the box, but it wasn't really anything other than him tripping on a defender's feet, so no whistle blown. 
but another SMA throw in. The Golden Eagles just cannot get them off their backs to this point. Overcrom ready to take it. He's put a couple into the box from this point already. Good job by the Golden Eagles to get rid of it. Jeffrey Ellsworth after that last ta or a challenge when he went in for Recaro and was the one that wound up on the ground. Remember, he went to ground early on as the assistant calls him offside there. Looked like Warris got a little too in behind the defense. But Ellsworth went down very early on, has sort of been limping ever since then, and once again back in that limping state after Ricaro Jr. sort of bodied him to the ground. The free kick to come here, a beautiful one all the way forward. But SMA the first one to get there again, still trying to head the ball into somebody. It hasn't hit the ground in about three, four, five seconds. Another shot on target by the Golden Eagles into the safe hands of Haggerty. And SMA looks to slowly build up their offense once again, this time on the counter. Just seems like the Eagles cannot get to the ball. Now they get to it this time. No flag up, but it doesn't matter. Once again, Haggerty back in control of it for the, uh, for the Guardians. He's got Warris here on the near side. Opts to try to put one behind for Oberkrom, who's going to chase it in. But once again, flag goes up from the referee, offside. Once again there, if you're on the offense, you can't get behind the defense unless you've got the ball or the ball is behind the defense, essentially, and that's what causes the offside flag. Just mistimed his run a little bit there, a little late. And a good job by the referee to go ahead and call it what it is, offside. And the Golden Eagles still unable to really build anything here, but another chance to try to get their feet under them here. And that's the example of what I was talking about earlier. Just all the kicks, all the throws, just a little long. Not, not quite dialed in. And it looks like they're just trying to take things a little too quickly here. And whenever you're down, that's easy to do. SMA, another chance to try to chase one in behind. It was Max McLure still fighting for it on the far corner. He wins the battle for the ball momentarily. Garcia gets it back at his feet. Now a defender missing. Garcia ready to try to put one in. It goes off the defender and cleared away once more by the Golden Eagles. Showing eight minutes, two seconds left on the clock here in the first half. SMA still looming. They got plenty of time here. We saw them break a couple of times already in just a matter of seconds. Now they've got a lot of guys forward here ready to try to score another one here before the half is done. Ricaro trying to get around the defenders, pushing it to the right side, and once again stopped by John Grant. Throw in from Ricaro, gets into the box. Garcia, a chance, it just skews off his foot. He's still got control of it. Another chance here from SMA. McClure has it taken away from him, but it'll be a corner, what's signaled from the assistant referees. Well, you know Garcia would love to have that one back. Just missed it. That's so hard to time. And even if he does get his feet on it, that is so hard to control. Just so much going on there as the ball came to him really quickly at an awkward angle, unable to square it up for anything successful. Did a decent job to recover, try to get it to McClure, but again, good defense from the Golden Eagles to recover. Ball coming in low to the near post. Ricaro tries to put one in, and it's Lawrence Ricaro scoring again for SMA. The corner kick sets up a lot of goals, doesn't it, Jordan? Sure does, and that one, again, it just looks like the Golden Eagles a little out of sync. Nobody stopped it. It went right past three or four of them. It was taken low. Looked like it was going to be easy enough for them to react. Ricaro, the first one to get a foot on it, and a lovely finish into the bottom right corner, getting it past the keeper. SMA once again pressing high here, trying to force something early. And the Golden Eagles are just trying to take things a little too quickly. 
SMA once again back in control of the ball, looking for Ricaro in the middle. He takes a slip and a fall. Not even the new turf could stop him on that one. Waris now on the near side. Tries to find Ricaro in behind. Nice touch to get it back forward. Still fighting for the ball in the corner, and it'll go off of Ricaro's leg. Another throw in here to come for the Golden Eagles. They've still got six minutes to try to do something, so they can take it slow enough, but once again, just unable to really do anything with it once they do get back in control. Lovely challenge put in that time by Ellsworth. Rather by Stevenson, I believe, was the one that went in for that one. It'll be Stevenson once again winning it back here for the Golden Eagles. That one skips off of the foot of SMA, but it won't matter if it looked like the whistle blew for a free kick. At about the 40 line of the football field. 5.30 and ticking here in the first half. Now 2-0, the Guardians. Ready to take the free kick here is Luke Metcalf. He's played a good game defensively to this point. That one put in a little too long once more. Back into Haggerty's hands. He's not really been challenged too far to this point. He's had a couple of slow worm burners that came at him, but other than that, it's really just been long passes or passes from his own team that are controlled. Not really tested by any shots on net to this point. And SMA a lot more confident now switching to more of a standard four at the back, allowing their defensive mids to sort of play up a little more. And I think that's why we're seeing them break this team down a little bit uh, more than they were doing in the early goings. Nice block out there by the SMA team to maintain control of the balls that went out of bounds. Chance for the Golden Eagles here to try to get him behind, flicking it off of each other's heads several times. Nobody able to get control. And again, the Golden Eagles not playing slow enough, not really doing anything to allow themselves to get control as Ricaro still trying to force one in. Puts a little touch on it there to try, try to keep it in play. Unable to do so. They've got just a little over four minutes remaining in the first half. Good effort there by Ricard to try to keep it on the pitch despite not having very good positioning in terms of where the defender was located and where he was. McNamara back there getting a touch on it for SMA. Tries to keep that one on and puts it into the stands. A souvenir for a fan that they will not be able to keep. They'll have to put that one back down onto the pitch. Once again, the goal kick there from the Golden Eagles just kicked uh, almost like you know, we're showing off leg strength, but not necessarily at anybody or allowing his team to get anything set up. Well, and what's going on here is you'll see the Golden Eagles are, they're playing like they're supposed to be building up their play really slowly. They've got a lot of guys sort of pressed back towards the defensive side of things. Good challenge put in there by Warris. They're pressed back like they're trying to play more defensive, almost like SMA is, and slowly build things up, but they just try to get it to the forwards too early, and they're not able to do anything with it because SMA has been so suffocating to this point on defense. They've got numbers here now in the attack. Back to Ricaro. He scored one earlier, goes flying in the box. And the flag is raised. We'll have to wait and see. I think the referee pointed at the spot. He sure did a penalty to come. Ricaro comes up limping on that one, though. We'll have to wait and see who takes it. It looks like it will be Lawrence Ricaro Jr. ready to try to bag his second goal of the game. Still 2.42 to go. The one time you'll see the clock stopped is here for these penalty kicks. Sets up, everybody ready for it. A little too strong off the crossbar, still a chance. It was Mac, Max McLure there for the rebound effort. Unable to finish it off. Ricaro there with a booming shot, just again off the crossbar, came right back to him, a little too strong. And no goal for SMA. Unable to make them pay for what happened there. 
with a two-goal lead, you're a little less frustrated about that than you are if it's all knotted up. Here comes another chance, but the sweeper-keeper mentality that time of Haggerty is going to come out, eat it up, and make sure that SMA gets a chance to get the ball back. I mean, it was Mark McNamara going down in the midfield and another free kick here for SMA. And again, a minute and 50 seconds left in the way that they've been playing here lately. I don't think that there's a, a whole lot of uh, issue with them being able to put another goal in. Momentarily back at the feet of the Golden Eagles. They try to put one in behind. Two people chasing it back and another smart play there just to get it back to Haggerty, make sure he can get rid of it. SMA coming right back at him. Here's Warris on the near side. Playing the ball around the midfield. Trying to hurry things up. Garcia there with a good challenge to make sure that he keeps the ball. SMA just seems to get, anytime there's like a 50-50 ball there, just seems to always go to the Guardians. Just controlling every aspect of the game so far. They'll have another chance here. It didn't look like that one went in for a a corner kick, so just a throw in, but again, in a dangerous area. 50 seconds left to play here. SMA still a chance to strike before halftime. The throw in does come into the middle. Headed away by the defense, but it comes back to the feet of SMA. Still trying to keep hold of it. Now the Golden Eagles, not a lot of time for them to get forward. A free kick called for Bishop LeBlond. They've got just 30 seconds to do it here. They're going to score in this first half and keep up their good form for the first half. Goal scoring, they're going to have to do it now. Great recovery that time. It looked like Max Ellis in there, forcing everyone to sort of back up momentarily. Still in the possession of Bishop LeBlanc. Still searching for their first goal. Here they come, a little forward, more, or more a little forward than we're used to seeing to this point. Trying to whip one into the box once again. It's Noah Wheeler there for the effort. And the halftime whistle blown. So two to nothing our score. An own goal early on by Luke Metcalf and then Lawrence Ricaro able to slot one into the bottom right from a corner kick. Currently, St. Michael the Archangel up two to nil as we go into halftime.
welcome back. Welcome back to Lee Summit North High School, home of the Broncos here in Lee Summit, Missouri. But tonight playing home to the St. Michael the Archangel Catholic High School, the Guardians versus Bishop LeBlond out of St. Joseph, the Golden Eagles. Right now our score is 2-0, St. Michael the Archangel leading. Goal by Lawrence Ricaro Jr. And then an own goal by Bishop LeBlond. Uh, I believe Ricaro Jr. was very close on that play as well. Uh, and then it could be even worse. Uh, St. Michael the Archangel, uh, more goals on, uh, shots on goal uh, throughout the first half. And uh, even with a penalty kick with Lawrence Ricaro Jr. Uh, coming up shy as he hit the crossbar and the ball bounced off. Could have been worse. So Bishop LeBlanc uh, has to be happy that they're only down 2 to nothing right now. And uh, their potent offense, which has scored all their goals in the first half, looking to get something started here in the second half as we get a fresh 40 minutes on the clock. The teams flip sides. And it'll be Bishop LeBlanc kicking off and taking possession here early on or at the beginning here of the second half. Let's see if they can get some sort of offensive attack put together. But right now it has been all SMA uh, on the offensive side, controlling the time of possession, controlling the shots on goal, controlling the offense, controlling the defense. Like I said earlier, it just feels like they have a couple of extra guys out there on the field. That starts with the battle in the midfield. Lawrence Ricaro Jr. Uh, really being involved in a lot of the chances, if not all of them, for SMA. Even the penalty kick, which he was unable to convert on, he earned himself, drew a lot of contact in the box. Here he is again for SMA. He's really dictated the pace of play. Whenever he wants to go fast, they go fast, and he wants to go now. Tries to put one into the box there. Looked like it skimmed off the foot of Ellsworth, maybe. Looked like it was just actually a little too long from Ricaro Jr., so it'll be a goal kick to come. It's been Ricaro Jr. really controlling the goal, the goal scoring side of the buildup, but Luke Gaffney on the defensive end and then pushing the ball forward and also creating a little bit of chances as Gaffney now, as I call his name, brings it forward. Counterattack possibility here for the Golden Eagles down the left hand side. Cut back here, tries to put a shot on. It was deflected by a defender. SMA tries to slow it down once again. Cut out by the Golden Eagles. Ricardo Jr. trying to get back in control of it. Ellsworth able to get it off of him. Everywhere the ball goes, at least to my eyes, there are more dark jerseys around it than there are light jerseys. It just feels that way every time. Here comes Juarez Jr. down the wing. Cuts it back to Ricaro. Unable to get there. Once again, Gaffney back in control on the defensive side for SMA. SMA all around the ball. Ball in behind here. It's going to be Youngbluth to try to chase it down. Unable to win the one-on-one. -on -one. A great job by Haggerty to get a leg to it. Pushed just a little bit out of his box. Wasn't able to use his hands and makes a great defensive effort as a goalkeeper to get that one away from the net. Throwing to come here for the Golden Eagles. Dancing around a couple defenders, a long shot taken just over the crossbar. Noah Stevenson trying to curl that one into the top left corner, unable to do so. Beautiful shot though, just a little high. Fantastic effort from where he was, just a few yards out of the box. Just unable to finish. Be Weller ready to take the free kick. And to my memory, I believe that's the first free kick, or goal kick, rather, that SMA has had to take to this point, or at least here in recent times. I mean, they may have had one very early on, but not here lately. This one back to the feet of Gaffney. Another ball from the defender tries to find an attacker, unable to do so. Look at how easy that looks for Noah Wheeler. He understands that there's a defender or an attacker coming to him. He's got one to his right, one right in front of him, and just nice and calmly gets the ball away. We've not really seen that a whole lot from the Golden Eagles. That's where they're lacking is that poise and that just 
ability to wait on something to happen and force it to happen. Right now they're forcing it a little too much. Wow. I'm really surprised the goalkeeper there didn't pick that ball up. That was potentially a backfire. Still, even then, he, he just looked calm doing it. Haggerty yeah. there all over him as Eli Spencer doesn't care. Just nice and calm, gets the ball out. He knows exactly what he needs to do. SMA coming into it just 2-1, and one, but taking it to the 3-0 and o Eagles as we reach just four minutes into this second half. Throw-in came a little too long. Ricaro still able to get to it. Nice pass back to Carden Vo that time, but a whistle blown. Vo a little too much contact trying to get control of it. It'll be a free kick here for Bishop LeBlanc. Long free kick put a little bit in behind the SMA defense. A chance here. Young Blue still unable to get to it. Passes one back across the box. Great block. The clearance effort goes off of the head of Gaffney. Does a good job to stay on his feet there. That was sort of out of nowhere, and it lasered him in the dome. Right now, the Golden Eagles coming out with just a little bit more intensity, and they are controlling the ball on the offensive side. That was the closest they've come, really. A very good opportunity just slipped out of their hands. And a great job by Max Ellis there of SMA to jump in front of that shot. The keeper was on the other side trying to deal with it near post. Haggerty unable to get back to it where he really had any chance to make a save. Again, Ellis comes in at the last minute and makes a hero block right on the goal line for SMA. Currently the reason that they are still up 2-0 and a chance to improve on it. A ball inside chasing Will Willwaris, unable to get back there and get control of it. Once again, beat by the SMA defense. Still fighting for it, and he'll earn himself a throw in. Good job by Weris to stick with it, even after it looked like he didn't quite have full possession. Once again, a smart move by the Golden Eagle defender just to kick the ball out, clear it, let his defense get back. Not run the risk of trying to turn the ball upfield and kicking it right to your opponent. A little different from the Golden Eagles this time, wanting to make sure for sure nothing comes of it. They don't do the best of jobs there recovering from the throw in Metcalf. It goes off of him. It'll be a corner kick to come. But they, they did a nice job there of making sure there was enough guys in the box that they weren't going to have to worry about a whole lot from SMA. They've not done that a whole lot to this point. Corner taken quickly. Shot across the box and a screamer into the bottom net. What a goal scored by Keegan Laneve. He looked like he was caught off guard by how quickly it was taken. But he does a good job to get his foot out to it, keep control of it, and put one across the box. Right past Jeffrey Johnson, who was unable to really make any effort on that one. And now that's three goals scored by SMA and three goals coming from a corner. Even the own goal that was scored earlier on by, I believe, Luke Metcalf came from a corner from SMA. So that's something maybe in the next practice that we'll look to see Perrin Youngbluth uh, try to get control of as those corner kicks on the defensive end. And that one was not even, you know, the typical corner kick where you kick the ball into the goal box, in front of the goal, kind of centering it up where all your offense kind of stacks and, and flies in and attacks all at once. That one was just kicked out. Dribbled in, shot. It was a good job by SMA to create a, a chance there. And the reason I believe that they didn't take it in the traditional style, trying to get a cross in there, it looked like maybe trying to stop any chance of scoring from a corner was Bishop LeBlanc. They put a lot of guys in the box just like they did on the, on the throw in. Didn't want to take their chances with it, took it outside. Once again, Leneve with another chance, tries to put one in back post for Weris, who's unable to chase it down. SMA starting to get their rhythm back and starting to attack a little bit more, controlling the ball, possessing it more. Been much more clinical to this point. Even the, uh, the few attacks that have been put forward by the Golden Eagles, they've un been unable to really get any on target. 
and the ones that have been on target haven't really been any challenge for Vincent Haggerty. Again, there was one that almost squeaked in a little while ago, but that man, Max Ellis, was in the way. SMA once again swarming it whenever that comes into their half and trying to push it forward. That pass that time from Gaffney a little too strong for Rocco or Ricaro rather. It looked like he thought maybe he had someone else in front of him. SMA again, Noah Weiler looked like maybe had a tough time with that one, but even after a little slip up and a chance for the Golden Eagles, stays with it, keeps it for SMA. Dangerous. Poi still there. That was a dangerous pass, but again, the Golden Eagles just, it looks like unable to really wait for anything to happen for them. Header from Lene doesn't find anyone in a dark uniform. A swing and a miss from the defender. Ricaro with a chance to put one in behind. In now chasing it behind as Josh Oberkrom tries to put one on. And splits the upright, playing the wrong sport. He got his muscle into that one, yes. A beautiful kick. Again, guest starring in the booth tonight, if you're just joining us, is Arnold Schwarzenegger. So fantastic to be here, yes. Also joined by my dad, Jeremy Wood, manning the camera, taking a step back, letting Arnold handle the color here for just a little while. Goal kick from SMA. Not kept on, according to the assistant ref. Be another throw in here for St. Michael. Well, St. Michael looks like they have weathered the, the, the early attack here of the Golden Eagles coming in in the second half because the Golden Eagles brought it on pretty hard and heavy there uh, to start the second half. But since then, they had a couple of opportunities, but SMA has kind of regained control of the game, as it were. Well, and they had to have a lot of confidence coming out of that first half, and that's maybe what teams have lacked is whenever they see that early potent offense in the first half, we talked about it earlier, averaging four goals in the first half of the Golden Eagles. Let me hold that thought for just a second. An offside call saves me from losing track of a goal there. But the early offense in the first half for the Golden Eagles has produced an average of four goals a game, and that's all come in the first half team's just unable to get that confidence early on and that's what SMA has had to this point that's made a difference. Oberkrom, another ball into the box, unable to get a shot off here. Referee points for a goal kick. But even after the chances early on for Bishop LeBlond, SMA stood their ground, threw a couple punches back, got a goal out of it here, their first one in the second half. It seems like any exchanges these teams have had, SMA has gotten the better of. Aiden Cedar trying to make something out of not a whole lot. Nothing really happens here once again for Bishop LeBlond, and here comes SMA right back on the counterattack. A lot of holes starting to form in that defense here as Bishop LeBlond tries to put more people forward. It will be Leneve once again fighting for control, unable to win it that time. Nearly gets a foot on it for an interception. Ricaro now coming in trying to keep it for SMA. And again, back in the possession of the Guardians. Another little battle in the midfield. A ball put way in behind. Jeffrey Ellsworth just really not able to get his feet under him to this point. Been losing physical challenges going to ground couple turnovers there that one just getting a little too strong off of his foot and SMA once again back in control with Carden Vo. gets it over to Weiris Weiris still scrapping for it that pass squeaks through it finds the feet of Eli Spencer who's trying to dance around the defender Vo at the moment he gets it past him a chance here to whip one in a fantastic recovery that time by Max Ellis to realize Vo was beat, step over from his center back position and get there, and he'll just make sure it gets out, so no chance here for the Golden Eagles to produce much off of that little attempt that they had to try to get forward. And fortunate enough for Ellis, whenever he tried to clear it there, it 
grazed off of a Golden Eagles attacker. So it'll be another throw in here for SMA. Once again, Bishop LeBlanc trying to find that center ball down the middle. Unable to do so. Ricaro. Rather, Gaffney with the interception in the midfield. Garcia tries to put a ball in for Leneve, who's going to dance around a defender getting to it. Not quite realizing where he was. Puts it a little left of the goal, trying to catch that near side post. Just great ball control from SMA overall. I mean, they... They just, the difference in the two teams that I see right now is there seems to be a, an actual plan in place for SMA when the ball is in their possession. The Golden Eagles, as you've talked about, just look like at this point they're just trying to force a little bit too much, and there's not necessarily any organization to their attack. They're just going where the ball goes, whereas SMA looks like they're just controlling the ball. I don't know that there was a whole lot there for a whistle to be blown on there by the referee. Maybe a consolation call for something that he saw earlier on. Nevertheless, it'll be a free kick and a dangerous spot for the Golden Eagles who are going to try to put one forward. Here's a good example to show you the offsides thing. As you notice, the Golden Eagles all line up even with the defender. They can't slip back behind them. They'll look Until to the break ball away. gets there. They'll look to break away here on this free kick, depending on where it's placed. Right into the wall built in front of him. Still going to keep control. Another shot blocked. That time, Ricaro getting to it. Another chance for the Golden Eagles. And this time, Good dropping player. back, it was Josh Overcrom, who's been involved in a couple of attacks to this point for SMA, normally playing as a forward. But here on these free kicks, playing back a little bit as he's a taller presence there. Had that ball had a true bounce and not had all that English all over it and taken kind of a funny bounce off the spin, the Golden Eagles would have been in great position for a goal there. Still in a good position here and a good recovery. That was, looked like Weris back there making the defensive effort. Rather, Michael Doherty came in. Once again, here's where you guys won't be able to see here for just a moment. Eli Spencer ready to take the free, or the corner kick. Whips one into the far post. And finally, the Golden Eagles are able to break free and put one back into the net. SMA been completely dominating this game all night long. And corner kicks have been the secret. Every goal been scored tonight coming from a corner kick. That time the header won by Owen Youngbluth. It's got to feel good for Youngbluth. He's had a couple one-on-one -on -one moments with the keeper where he's just been bested. That time jumping in front of everybody, getting high up in the air, making sure he wins the header, finally putting one past the SMA brick wall that's been built to this point. I couldn't see who uh, did the, kick, the corner kick, Jordan, but that was a beautifully placed corner kick. Was exactly Perfect. well done. I believe it was Eli Spencer. Ricardo tries to put one back for someone to chase in. Looked like he was looking for Leneve, but just not on the same page. You're exactly right. That's a corner kick taken to perfection, but again, they've not forced a whole lot of them because they've not had a whole lot of possession and a whole lot of opportunity to get a corner kick. SMA, despite conceding here, not a lot of panic. Leneve has a chance to keep this one on the pitch. He does just that. Tries to put one into the far post. There's someone waiting for it. And off of the crossbar of the field goal. No goal scored by SMA on that one. A great chance. Beautiful cross. You, I, again, I, I'm having a hard time seeing who that was. But a beautiful cross. Was that Leneve? Leneve put that one in for Wheeler, who just puts it a little bit too high. This time the goal kick, the Eagles able to get control of it, trying to put one into the middle. Once again, Youngbluth trying to be the one there. Unable to get a lot of control of it. Here comes Gaffney, involved a lot in the first half, not so much here to the second. Lenny puts this one down the middle, or down the wing. Tries to pick out Ricaro in the middle, unable to do so. Lenny back at his feet. 
Tries to get it to Weiris. Back to Leneve off the deflection from a defender. And here come the Golden Eagles once again trying to build something from the counter. They'll put a long ball into the middle. Good job to just stay patient that time. Oberkrom gone from forward to center back here, and he's done a good job so far for SMA. This is the first sustained attack from SMA for quite a while. It, the, the ball has been spending a lot of time on the other end of the, the pitch, and it, it's not necessarily been controlled by anybody, but the ball has been down near the SMA goal. That was the first time we've seen what they, SMA kind of employed in that first half. Golden Eagles finally look like they've got their feet back under them a little bit. But I mean, even then, whenever it looks like things are maybe starting to shift towards the Golden Eagles, there was a chance there while you were mentioning that, that they were finally getting some control where Ricardo Jr. and Leneve had a chance in the box and it just didn't quite go to plan. 22 minutes left here in the game. It's been pretty much all SMA to this point. It'll continue being that way here until the Golden Eagles can do a whole lot. They were the last ones to strike. That one a little too short for Leneve. Tries to touch a through ball in there, unable to get it right where he wanted to. That one le nearly left for the other soccer field behind this one. That throwing into Ricaro, he's in the box. He's feeling dangerous tonight. Tried to put that one across for Garcia, unable to get to his head. Perfect positioning, beautiful cross once again. Just didn't convert. Garcia still trying to win it back for SMA. He'll do so momentarily all the way back to Oberkrom. Guardians, great control that time from Gaffney getting himself back into this one. Weiris with his right foot puts it a little too far there, trying to chip the keeper to the back post, unable to convert. Tough angle. It's hard to finish that one, really, unless you can try to put one near post, but obviously that's where Johnson's positioned. So it's got to be just about a near perfect shot for that one to score, and he's unable to do so. Hard to blame him for that one. Little knuckleball off of the goal kick there. SMA once again able to get control of it. A little miscommunication that time from Garcia and Leneve. Good recovery from Obercom to just put it over the touchline. Headed away, here comes Garcia. Nice touch to get it away from the pursuing attacker. Now another ball down the wing for Leneve. He's chasing it in. He's got a man in the middle, it's Wheeler. He tries to find him off of his left foot, takes a hard touch, turns it back around, tries to put another shot on. And once again, splitting the uprights is Wheeler. Good effort from SMA right there as uh, they come down the side. Leneve doing a great job of making the defender, that second defender, have a hard time deciding. Do I, do I attack the ball? Do I go to the middle? When's he gonna cross? Is he gonna shoot? He eventually lured him over, got the cross off. Just didn't quite get the goal. The only thing that you can take away from that one is if Leneve puts it a little softer, maybe there's a chance. And now three people back for SMA. Oh. Gaffney, instead of finding in the middle, Leneve or Wheeler, he takes a shot on himself. His first I, shot of the night puts it a little too high, a little too strong. I got to think Coach put off there, probably thinking center that one. Don't. Don't take the, the long, hard shot. Center it. You had two guys on your team right there in better position. They could have taken it in a little closer and converted. Go, we'll see Leneve and Gaffney go on to the sideline, being subbed off. Really for the first time, other than a little moment in that first half that we've seen McLure in there for Leneve. Good touch by Ellis to make sure that one doesn't slip in behind for any attackers from the Golden Eagles. This one put down the wing and a little too strong for anyone to chase it. And that's sort of what it's looked like all night as the Golden Eagles have tried to build any sort of offense. Unable to do anything that's been too worthwhile or even worth mentioning to this point, aside from the one that they've scored from a, cr uh, from a corner. Caro tries to get control of it. He's been taken out of the game just a little bit here since the goal that was scored by the Golden Eagles. 
And that's the main difference that I've seen, at least to this point in the second half, that's changed in SMA's approach. Still fighting for it back on the back line of Bishop LeBlond. Throwing to come here for Hayden Cross. No, rather it's for SMA. So it'll be Wheeler that takes it. Michael Doherty subbed off. Coming onto the pitch, a man that they don't have on their roster. So he will be known as number 27. I apologize to anyone <laughs> that may know him and be upset with me for not knowing his name, but I don't know his name. So I, that's all I can say is I'm sorry. Garcia, throw in behind here for Ricaro. He knows who he is. Number 27. I would yell down at him, but I'm not sure anyone would like that if I tried to get his attention. Ricaro here trying to throw it into the box. A beautiful one into the middle of the box. Nobody there to receive it for SMA. Garcia, a lovely little drag back away from the defender. Tried to put one into the far post. Unable to finish. Right, we've seen some fancy footwork tonight out of Diego Garcia when he gets it. And that was a lovely little skill move. Simple as it was to get anyone away from him. Just unable to put the shot on. Yeah, had three players around him and he controlled them. And the ball. 16.30 to play here in the second half. As this one continues to wind down, Ellis tries to get it away, and a mistake there from the left back, uh, Bishop LeBlond. That was John Grant. Just played pretty solid to this point. Ooh, looked for the footwork that time, unable to do anything with it. Not the sustained possession that SMA had in the first half, which they pretty well dominated the ball possession for the entire half. But this is the first time we've seen the ball on the Golden Eagles side for any period of time for quite a while. One thing I have noticed is SMA has taken off a couple of their regulars that are involved in a lot of that swarming and very quick offense. Here's one of the new guys that's out there. Max McClure got a little playing time in the first half. Ooh. It's a dangerous challenge. You can't do that, not from behind. Again, that's what I think has been the biggest difference for SMA is it's some guys that probably aren't normally going to be out there unless you have such a commanding grip on the game as they do right now. Good job that time by McNamara just to get ahead on it. Ball in the middle now with Wheeler, trying to force one forward. Puts a low shot. Just misconnected with it. And it'll be a goal kick to come here for Bishop LeBlond. Just under 15 minutes remain here in the second half. Temperatures dropping back down to the 70s. In this Monday night matchup between SMA and Bishop LeBlond. Sneaky challenge that time for McLure. They'll get tangled up. We'll probably see a card or two shown for that one. This thing's getting a little chippy here. Likely what happened there is Youngbluth's just unhappy with how this is going. They're down 3-1. Referee looks like just a warning for both players. No card shown to this point. Sends Haggerty back into his net. It looked like he came in to get a little piece of the action if there was any there, just in case he, his presence was needed. But referee tells him it is not. And we'll resume play here with a throw in for SMA. Meanwhile, while that, all of that's going on, the clock keeps ticking down. So if you're Bishop LeBlanc, you know, like, hey, 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 let's get up, let's play. I know you're frustrated, but. The clock is ticking. They've stopped time for now, but as the referees discuss what they want to do. But while everybody was out there talking back and forth with each other, the clock kept moving. Right now we're resting at 1342 
three one our score and again jeremy wood jordan wood with cinematic visions bringing you this game live from lee summit north high school st michael the archangel catholic high school versus bishop leblond and we do have yellow cards issued looks like to both players So that'll go to McLure and Youngbluth. Youngbluth will go ahead and run off to the sidelines after that one. Did he give that to Ricardo? Ricardo's coming off, and Ricardo was where he waved the, the, the card. That's a little confusing. Maybe Ricardo maybe said something in there in the mix-up if that's what happened. But it was McLure and Youngbluth, the two that were in that incident. Be interesting to see what the decision was there. Thought maybe we'd see yellows from just the challenge, and then there was the extracurriculars after. It's important not to let your emotions get out of check like that when you're Bishop LeBlanc. Said you mentioned the clock, which is currently stopped now, doesn't normally do that. And you're down 3 1, and you've scored one already in this half. The game's not over. So why not continue to uh, just keep playing and let things go? I just realized on our scoreboard, Jordan, I had it as the first half for the entire second half. So now it's correct. Well, you'll have 13 minutes and 42 seconds of seeing the updated graphic. If you were a little confused as to why we called it the second half, there it is. Ball's going to go to Bishop LeBlanc after much discussion. They'll okay. get the free kick here. That's what was likely taking so long there towards the end. I was wondering why they were going to have a throw in there as it was the challenge that blew the initial whistle. Ball comes into the box there. And once again, nice and easy for Haggerty. Keeps control of it. Big booming high kick away from his net. Searched out Will Weris down that right wing. Assistant waved his flag there or picked his flag up for an advantage to be played and a good job by the referee to realize that the ball is taken away from SMA. As Wheeler went to ground on a rough challenge from the defender. A little bump from Garcia there, a little stiff arm action inside the box. That's what drew the hay from the peanut gallery here in attendance. Good job by Johnson there to be the first one there, beating anyone to the ball. And Weiris will be flagged offside for that one. Pass a little too early from Joseph McNamara that time around. Obercrom, that one a little bit awkward there around his feet. Wasn't sure where it was. Garcia takes a line drive to the face. Keeps on walking. There's number 27. Once again, Garcia in the midfield. Here comes Gaffney controlling it. Nice little one-two between himself and McLure. But the ball a little too early that time from Gaffney trying to find someone in the box. Another attempt to try to find someone down the wing. That was excellent defense from Obercrom there to make sure that it doesn't sneak through. McClure once again down the wing trying to put one in. I'm not sure if it was a shot or a cross. Either way, Johnson, the first one to it, gets it in his hands and gets it away. Johnson with a kick there from the goal off the side of his foot. Didn't quite get all of it. Gives SMA another chance here. We've seen that a handful of times. Again, not working anything out of their back like SMA has been doing. Why not try to give SMA a little of their own medicine, play some slow build-up soccer? Wheeler tries to have a shot from a mile out. Johnston eventually gets it in his hands, and he'll put it away once again. 
This time a little better chance for anyone from the Golden Eagles to get there. But it's McNamara, the one that will be awarded the throw in. About 10 and a half minutes remaining in the game at this point. 3-1 still our score. Max Ellis ready to throw it in once again for SMA, who despite this 3-1 lead know the game's not over. They're keeping their foot on the gas pedal. Here's Wheeler in the middle, back to Rocco, freshly subbed in. Ricaro, rather. Just tripped over that ball a little bit, it almost looked like, and uh, stopped the attack there. SMA still in control here, another throw in. Thrown weakly to the, weak, uh, the front post. Nobody able to get to it. Oh, big challenge in there. Referee says it's clean. But Max Ellis, a good job to recover, not let his emotions get the best of him and go for a big challenge. Just stays calm, wins it back for SMA. A throw in to come, gets all the way back in. Ricaro sneaks in behind. Tripping over each other's feet. Ricaro still fighting for it. Before finally the Golden Eagles will get it away from the attack. That was brilliantly done from SMA. Ricaro just sneaking in. That's the one time when the offside penalty doesn't matter. Ricaro still had timed his run as if it did. But it was well done by Max Ellis to find him all the way in there behind. Haggerty takes his time with it, gets it away, all the way up to McLure. Referee says a little too much contact. Luke Metcalf ready to try to put one in there for the Golden Eagles. Looked like Young Bluth was just trying to track down where it was, unable to get there. Mm. And there's a penalty. This one's not over. Was it in the goal box? The referee said it was. And he'll actually point to a spot just outside of the box. Big break there for SMA. Still danger here, though, as they, oh, quickly taken. <laughs> Little nice cheeky try. that time from Luke Metcalf, but he just puts it wide. Nice try, nice effort there. Almost like he led, hey, guys, what's that? And then kick. <laughs> Nobody really able to react to it because I don't, I don't know if anyone knew that that happened until they heard the sound of it hitting his foot. Regardless of what happened, goal kick to come here once again for SMA. And it sneaks all the way back to the back line. And look at the pace, holy cow. What an effort for Leneve to try to get in behind there. Initially beats the defender to the ball. Leneve was shoved to the ground there, and that's why you're here in the crowd, because the ref says Leneve was the one who did the shoving. I don't know how that could be, but. Oh my goodness, what an effort. That one hit the sidebar of the field goal post rather than anything on the woodwork of the soccer goal, and that's why referees will go ahead and signal for a goal kick there. Goal kick to come, not really in the area of anyone from SMA. As SMA will scramble back to it. Once again, the Golden Eagles here with another attack down the right wing. Way up to Ricaro now as SMA will look to counter. Stopped quickly. Young Bluth tries to put one down the wing. Cross comes into the near post. Haggerty thought he had a little more time than he did. Realizes a man comes in behind him trying to sneak to it before he got there. Hurries himself up and gets to it safely. Approaching six minutes left in the game now. Golden Eagles got to get some scoring going and get it going quick. That one put a little too far in there. For anyone to really get to it. Looked like McNamara trying to find it. Leneve now dropping back, playing more of a midfielder position rather than that left wing spot that he's held down for most of the night. 
There he is again. He's going to go ahead and get it all the way back to Haggerty, who's going to take it at his feet. And this is what we've seen out of SMA that's worked very well from him and not so much from Bishop LeBlond is this nice play all the way from their back. And this is what can come of it, forcing the other team up and a fantastic dive in there. It'll be still a throw in for SMA, but a great challenge from the defender to make sure that there's not a goal coming out of that one. And that's a risky spot to go for that inside of your own box. Gets a lot of ball and not a lot of the opposing attacker from SMA. Beautifully done. Here's Leneve once again dancing around the box. Puts one across. That's where he scored from one earlier. But it goes off the post and once again back over the touchline. A goal kick to come for the Golden Eagles. Man, six inches to the left. Got a 4-1 game. Another beautiful shot from Leneve. That left foot. Very similar to the one we saw earlier. The last one squeaking into the back post rather than the near side but nearly found the perfect spot on that one. Better in behind here. Oh, Haggerty. Haggerty does well. Haggerty coming out to challenge, puts himself out of position. Once again, cleaning up the scraps from the attackers, not allowing anything to come of it. That was a uh, missed opportunity there from the Golden Eagles as Haggerty, when he came up to challenge that, left the goal wide open. That extra advantage of him being able to use his arms turns out to be quite the difference maker on that one. That one coming into Ricaro Jr. as he tries to chase it in behind. Defender, defender beats it to him. And I will say on that last one there where Haggerty comes out of his own net, Max Ellis, the man who's already blocked two shots on the goal line, was the one that was back recovering in the net just in case anything would come that way. He was going to give his best effort. While well, I'm talking here, a shot put just wayward of the goal. The referee signals for a deflection there. This is going to be a corner kick for SMA. Well, and that's where everything has come from tonight in our scoring. Even the one goal from the Golden Eagles was from a corner. It'll be Leneve to take it. He was the last one to score one for SMA. He'll whip one into the back post. Headed by SMA, still trying to scramble for it inside the box. Fighting for it is Cardin Vo. This one's going to come forward to Leneve. And Wise from the defender there. Looked like he was trying to find a teammate, but it'll go over the touch line. That was the best place to try to find that pass just in case it did squeak over the line. Ricaro with a defender on his back. Tries to put one into the center. That's exactly what he does. Still dancing around for it. Where's the <laughs> ball at? I can't see it. <laughs> Finally, clearing it off the lines is the defender for the Golden Eagles. That one, oh man, mistakes now coming from SMA on the defensive side. Wheeler brought to ground. Youngbluth with the ball into the middle and once again, just a little too strong. Nobody able to get to it as Haggerty will clean his plate up as a defender and a goalkeeper for SMA. Two minutes left in the game. Time running out on the Golden Eagles. SMA for the first time looks like they're maybe a little tired. There's a couple of mistakes there on the defensive line. A couple holes broke open. And that's last minute magic here trying is Bishop LeBlanc to find it. Unable to do so. That one flicked on for Leneve from a defender. He's going to wait for the overlapping run. Back to Leneve, ready to try to cross one into the box. Flag goes up. He'll be called offside. And there's a player injured here for Bishop LeBlond. He can't even walk on it. That's Hayden Cross who went down. 123 remaining in the game now, 3-1. SMA over Bishop LeBlond. Looks like he's starting to get his legs back underneath him. He's going to be okay. Good deal. Right 
So now we'll see a drop ball after the injury. And Johnson will just go ahead and pick it up. Drop kick away from him. Just a minute and 16 for anything to come from the Golden Eagles. Ricaro trying to keep it away from defenders. Time not yet up, but not a whole lot of chance to score two or three goals to tie or win it if you're Bishop LeBlanc playing for pride at this point. The throw in here a little too strong, chasing it down is Doherty. Nice job by Cardin Vaux to try to get it away. That one looked like it was last touch by Ricaro Jr. Under a minute remaining. SMA earns themselves another throw in. Just 30 seconds left as Wheeler ready to throw one in. High arcing throw in trying to find McLure. He's got a chance to chase it in behind for one last attack. Not going to happen. Another one put in behind the defensive line of SMA. Ball comes into the box for a cross a little too long in behind it. Youngbloom tries to put his left foot on it, and it'll run out behind the goal for a goal kick. And with just one second remaining, it's safe to say this one is over. Three to one, the final score. Goals from Leneve, Ricaro Jr., and an own goal from Luke Metcalf. And then the final one of tonight, Owen Youngbluth scoring one for Bishop LeBlanc to at least take away the clean sheet of SMA. And that's how we got to the final score of three to one. Anything else you would like to add before we sign things off? No, uh, just a good game by both teams. Uh, you know, uh, Bishop LeBlanc coming up a little bit short. I'm sure they'll go back to the drawing board and uh, regroup and figure out what they want to do next. Looking ahead at schedules for both teams now, uh, St. Michael, uh, the, the Archangel High School, will be, uh, as I flip through my pages, playing uh, against Bishop Miege, and that's scheduled for tomorrow. That's a home game for them. It'll be played right here at Lee Summit North. Then they will take on Smith Cotton, the Tigers of Sedalia, Missouri. Summit Christian Academy, they'll have their rematch with Guadalupe Centers, the team that beat them uh, earlier this year. Oak Grove, Kansas City East Christian Academy, and then Lone Jack. As for Bishop LeBlanc, they move on to play at uh, Atchison, Kansas at Mar Hill Prep. Then they'll play Savannah, St. Pius X, Maryville, Lutheran, away at Benton, home again at Cameron, away at Lafayette up in St. Joe, away at Savannah, and away at Maryville, Missouri. So uh, great effort by both teams. And again, we had a good time bringing it to you tonight. Uh, the final score here from Lee Summit High School, St. Michael the Archangel Guardians 3, Bishop LeBlanc 1, and for Jordan Wood, I'm Jeremy Wood. We're with Cinematic Visions, and we were, uh, let me get this in here, excited to bring you this game. And that, we six? would that's six? That's like 16. Didn't quite break the record tonight. Stay tuned when we come back with some football. Maybe I can get a few excited to bring you the games in there and go for my record of 17. Uh, but we, again, so excited to bring you this game. There, I just tied it. And uh, if you need more information from us, of course, cinematicvisions.com is our website. We are your small business video production company and media design company for small businesses. Of course, I'll, I'll help big businesses too, but... We find that most small businesses like working with us. Cinematicvisions.com. Our final score here, St. Michael the Archangel 3, Bishop LeBlanc 1. Both teams move to 3-1 and one on the year with games coming up. Thanks for tuning in tonight. We loved bringing it to you. I hope you have a good evening and a good week ahead of you. For Jordan Wood, this